for my people dealing with bipolar disorder or depression, I want you to consider desire. We'll act out doing things in a negative way, whether consciously or subconsciously. When it comes to love, it could be acting out in the sense of sleeping around, trying to earn people's affections, people pleasing, trying to gain love from others or affections from others. Um, so when it comes to being bipolar, or let's just say you don't want to go into your manic stages or you don't want to go into the depression, or if you're just dealing with depression, then what kind of actions are taking place here? You just say, I don't want to feel like this anymore, or I'm tired of feeling like this. So then you might go to a vice such as drinking, smoking, drugging, sex, trying to numb pain, um, being impulsive, things like that, trying to move away from a feeling or a thought, you know, uh, or a circumstance that you feel trapped in and subconsciously you're agitated. And these are the ways that you are trying to fulfill not feeling sad anymore, not feeling manic anymore and exhausted from racing thoughts and all of these things. So you just know consciously and you say it out of your mouth, I'm so tired of feeling like this. I'm tired of this. I can't do this anymore. You have to become intentional and you have to change your appetite. You have to become aware and conscious of changing your appetite with your desires to fulfill a healthy desire. You have a healthy desire to feel better and to not feel sad. You have a healthy, that's, that's a healthy desire to not feel all up and down and you're tired of feeling like that. This is very powerful. Understand that in that awareness, you say, how am I acting? That awareness can take you to this next step of now I can be conscious and intentional about doing healthier things and not going to the vices to feel better. I want true deliverance. I want true breakthrough. I want real results. So in that quest, in that, within that desire, you begin to look at other methods. Instead of drinking alcohol, you say, you know what? I feel really good when I drink this green juice. Instead of smoking something, you say, you know what? I feel really good by just taking um, more rest for myself, taking more time to go to sleep and shut down the phones, you know, shut down the digital products for a minute. Um, it could be, you know, I feel better just getting out and running, you know, and airing out my lungs as opposed to putting something in them. It could be uh, instead of drugging, it could be, you know, something I really want to just stop and I want to feel my feelings. I, I'd like to stop and feel my emotions or maybe I don't want to do that. And I want to learn how to just be still and quiet in my mind. And I want to take the time to learn how to do that. So these are things that you become aware of as alternatives, because no matter what, we are often trying to fulfill a desire within us. Sometimes people say, I'm tired of this, and their desire then goes to suicide. They kill themselves or they attempt to kill themselves because all they know is that they're trying to fulfill a desire to no longer feel tired, exhausted, um, uh the, the negative, the negative feelings, um, tired of feeling the way they were feeling depressed and sad all the time, uh, or angry all the time, they get tired of those things. And so they believe that that is the fulfillment to reach those words. That's the fulfillment of their words is that is the behavior it's suicide It's the behavior to drink drug imp be impulsive, have sex, um, do doing these other things, lashing out at other people. Um, so I'm just telling you, be aware of your desire. What desires do you have regarding your mental health? And you'll know by what comes out of your mouth. So take the time to write that down and consider that it's very powerful and effective to do this. It's really a huge start and it's the desire is actually one of my keys of the sunny day mentality that helps to retrain your brain and rewire the brain 
to where you end up having control over yourself, over your own mind, over your behaviors, your actions, your results, your moods, your feelings. You can switch those things around for your good, believe it or not. But it starts with the desire. One of the things it starts with, it starts with becoming aware of your desires, noticing your desires and understanding the behaviors that are following all the desires that come out of your mouth and out of your heart. Check those out. Thanks.